No, I'm bringing you to seventh layer of hell. You, we'll, we'll, we'll say what's up to your dad while we're there. Oh my God! Oh! The fucking pussy. Look, he's got his ultimate feeling champion. He ain't no ultimate fighting champion. He's ultimate feeling champion. Wow. Guys, Kleenex and fucking, you better get the tissues ready. Colby Covington takes a huge low blow against Leon Edwards, you know, talking about his dad who has passed away in a very disrespectful way. It's actually super crazy. Guys, I didn't know Colby Covington was going to go that deep with it with the trash talk for this press conference. But guys, I'm going to give out my full car predictions. I'm going to be talking about the press conferences that happened today. But I want to quickly stoop through everything that happened with the press conferences, what Colby said, you know, who carried the press conference, who did what at the press conference. And tomorrow, I'm going to give my full card recap for this card. So guys, Guys, make sure you like, subscribe. There's so much to talk about. I think, you know, Tony Ferguson, Colby Covington, and Patty Pimbley, you know, they really kind of spiced up this press conference a bit. Just a lot of rambling by Colby, you know what I mean? Super crazy. As expected with Leon Edwards, you know, Leon is super blank as a personality. We'll say Tony does have pretty good trash talk, but the fact he's on a six-fight winning streak, you know, he really just can't back it up at this point. And Patty Pimbley, you know, just, I really feel like Patty's just trying to get, you know, the fans back on his side after what he did with Errol Hawani and, you know, when he fought Jared Gooden and somehow he won that fight even though you know it was a clear robbery and he's on the mic saying you know fight to the night or what lads and then he's out there you know it wasn't even close lad it wasn't even close like be quiet man but yeah you know this is a really fun press conference you know what I mean all basically because of Colby Covington you know I expected Colby Covington to do some crazy things but I did not expect him to go that down below the stoop against Leon Edwards he really said he's gonna meet Leon Edwards' father in hell Saturday night, which I think is just crazy fun. Crazy man thing. Yeah, you can't be saying that, bro. Guys, we're going to get straight into the main event. Leon Rocky Edwards, the champion, taking on Colby Covington, who honestly as of right now, arguably has the most undeserved title shot of all time. I'm not going to cry about it, you know what I mean? There's probably going to be some Colby fans saying, you know, keep crying, blah, blah, blah. The fight is here, man. Listen, I was really excited to, you know, see this fight when I first heard it got announced, but my prediction for the fight, guys, you know, I'm, ha I'm going to have to go with Leon Edwards. I think Leon Edwards, honestly, right now is in his prime. He's younger. My reasoning for this as well is... Although Colby Covington got under Leon Edwards' skin with that, you know, very crazy comment he made, I think Leon Edwards is, you know, he's not going to let him bully us, son, you know what I mean? Don't let him bully us, son. I think Leon Edwards is going to stay composed, you know what I mean? He's going to be a sniper. But I feel like it's a bad matchup for Leon. Low-key, bro. You know what I mean? Especially in the fourth and the fifth round. If Colby Covington can make it through the second round, the third round, if he can get to the fourth round even. Guys, we know Colby Covington is a cardio machine, all right? This guy can push the pace like crazy in a division like welterweight. I think, you know, he might be able to take this fight over, you know, if he gets to the fourth and the fifth round. But I'm going to go with Leon Edwards, you know what I mean? I think this guy is really good, you know, even underestimated as the champion. I'm not even going to cap like that. This guy has insane body kicks, you know, has a really nice Muay Thai style, you know, elbows in the clinch. And I see Colby trying to rush in at times, you know what I mean? Desperate to get the takedown. I see Leon absolutely piecing this dude up on the feet. I'm not going to cap. You know, Colby does have good striking. He low-key does. You know, he was piecing up Usman in their fight, but... I think Leon, you know, he hits way harder than Colby. And if there's a finish in this fight, it's definitely going to be Leon by knockout. But I'm excited, man. I think it's going to go to a decision. It's going to be a tough fight for both guys. Um, I think Leon gets the job done with a, you know, 48-47 decision win.